Right now, the family's at a movie, and they went to go see the Ag Agatha Christie movie with uh, Tina Fey. And I don't, you know, I like Agatha Christie, and I kind of like Tina Fey, but I don't know putting them in the movie together. Is, I don't know, whatever. Miss Marple, you know, hey, okay. But to see a movie, I was like, okay, I'm going to stay home and make videos instead of, like, watching one. I'll make one. I'm, you know, not saying I'm doing what they do, but... When I went to a movie years ago, or when people would go to movies, right, it was, like, beautiful. You know, first of all, the movies were, like, some of them three hours long, right? But, like, every second of it you were invested in, and you felt like you were just drawn into it, right? And you kind of suspend your belief in your life and whatever and you're just in the movie right as well as the people are and you see the characters you root for the good ones and you you're like ah, i hope the bad one does bad and then you know there's a whole thing and then then the movie's over right and you're like oh and you go out into the daylight you know and you're like whoa it's like you walk out of the theater, you've been sitting there for so long, and you're kind of, you know, a little wobbly, right? You're like, ooh, ooh, right? And you, and you went to the uh, snack bar in between before the movie started, right? And you got, like, popcorn, and you got soda, and you got, like, uh, candy, like uh, Milk Duds or some shit like that. And it was, like, $8, you know, or $5, you know, and... Um, at the end of the movie, you know, you took your uh, popcorn thing and you just threw it on the ground. Maybe they still do that. I don't know. But um, you were just uh, sort of in a different world. You know, you kind of like get sucked into the movie because it just like drew you in. Right. And you're leaving the theater all wobbly. You know, and you're like, what did, what did I just see? What just happened? You know, and you get out to the sunlight and it takes you a little while to like process it. You know, it takes you like, and I'm talking about these great movies that once were, you know, and, and you have to like process what, what did I just see? You know, and you start talking to people like, wow, you know, or like at the end of a movie where the credits roll and people clap you know, and like they're um, sort of uh, reluctant to get up out of their seats, you know, because it was an experience. I don't think that happens anymore. I really don't. And if people say that it does, it's probably people who never saw movies uh, in the 70s and 80s and, even, you know, 60s and 50s um, and the 40s and even, you know, early on. There was something about a movie that was very special, and I don't think that movies are very special anymore. Um, and it's really sad. But I do remember those times getting up out of a theater and being just... I think for me, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind was like a big deal. Um, I was uh, eight years old and it was just uh, something that really kind of, you know, yeah, you're an eight-year-old kid, but it was a movie, and I watch it now, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and I've had a couple myself. Uh, but I watch it, and just that feeling that you have, you know, it's just like, wow, you know, that, that type of feeling. I don't think you have uh, with uh, superhero movies. I don't really give a shit about superhero movies. Um... You know, maybe when I was eight years old and I enjoyed reading comics and uh, wondering about the sea monkeys and like, uh, what are they real monkeys or are they just like, yeah, you know, I don't know. No, they're not. They're like shrimp. You know, I'm like, oh, are they shrimp? Really? Can you eat them? No. Uh, 